Well, this is the front part of the of the neutrogena. This part, it's uh, only we use it when it's, uh, let's say, it's light winds. We put all the weight of the boat here forward. When it's uh, medium or strong winds, medium we put in the middle, and when it's quite strong and reaching or downwind, we go we put everything all the way on the back of the boat to be able to put uh, the bow of the boat up and not nose diving. So here we have almost all the cells, and we this is the area where we call it the stacking place. So we try to put everything in one side or the side. All these cells is uh, each cell is like in between 70 and 90 kilos heavy. So we try to put everything in one side or the other to have more stability on the boat. So and it's not easy to move because you have to consider all this area is healing like 20, 25 degrees. So it's uh, you have to move one cell from one side to other one is quite difficult so we have this stacking system and by hand and two persons we move all the cells from one side to the other one so you okay. are putting them on the deck by that hole here when it's in normal conditions and it's not big waves you can use this this hatch uh, obviously when it's reaching or power reaching it's impossible to open this thing otherwise you can have like very in a few seconds like a, a ton of water so if it's not possible to open this hatch we do it through these little ones there which is a little bit more complicated because these cells are heavy and you have to sneak the cells there and then go out from the back side of the boat and put it in the front so it's it's a long way to drag two persons these uh, cells which is i say it is 70 80 kilos each one we try to do it as much as possible through the hatch but it's only in very not on all the conditions when you're reaching or downwind or upwind we have to do it through the back hatch so we know that on these on these boats uh, it's very important to have the right sail for the right wind how many changes can you do a day well sometimes you know depending on the conditions sometimes you stay 20 hours with just with the same sail because the, they are you are in in front of the on the front and you're reaching sometimes when you are crossing a a reach or some high pressure or probably in four hours they are like the other day in six hours we put all the cells up so it's depending of of the condition of the wind and then if it's changing a lot the, if it's a random conditions then you can easy to put the nine cells in the same day or even two times a day the same so it's, it's quite, quite exhausting yeah it's uh, when it's cell changes you know and double handed it's uh you have to grind the cells up. You have to grind uh, some of these cells like 30 meters higher, and yeah, it's not easy. And then you have to trim it. And then by the time you trim it, sometimes the wind changes, and then you have to roll it again and changes. So it's yeah, some in some conditions, it's very exhausting.